Welcome to Warringarri Aboriginal Arts. Today I'm here with Ben Ward. Ben Ward is not only one of the local artists, he's also been integral in terms of the gallery. He's the chairperson for a couple of years until 2013. And he joins us today to tell us a little bit about what his art means to him, uh, about the Kununurra area, and also about how he is integral in sharing his cultural knowledge with the younger generations who are the future generations of Australia. Thanks, Ben. Can you tell us a little bit about what your art means for you? Art means to me today, it's, it's a school. Instead of, instead of we um, teaching, a, there's a certain time that we have our law and culture here, but for ongoing educational thing is this not this art. Teach our kid what country, where you come from, what skin you are, what tie you have to that country, and all that. It's a school. Warringarri Aboriginal Arts is nestled in the back streets of Kununurra, right near the turn off to the lookout at Kelly's Knob. Kununurra to me it's the centre of Mirong people. This is where our Mirong people lived all their lives around in this area, right up Newry, Kildare, Rosewood, all them places when the holiday come we all used to head down the river because there's plenty of kangaroo, plenty of fish, used to be on the old river, the Kununuru. That's why this town is named Kununuru, not Kananara. Europeans call it Kananara. We call it Kununuru, it's a big river. That's what it means in the Mirong language. Until recently, Ben was the chairperson of the board and he remembers the humble beginnings for Warringarri Aboriginal Arts. When I was with the Warringarri, we first started, I had, I had um, Rod Dixon, Mike Dillon, he was the right hand man for Jerry Ann when he dealt with the native title in Parliament House. Tom Stephen, he's a Labour Party politician member. He used to be our little bookkeeper. When I first got into this Warangari, before we started, we used to start Mumum, that Mumum Aboriginal Hostel over here. It was an Aboriginal hostel when we first started that, because there, all the old people still, all dad and them, they're all dead and gone, my mum and them. They're all dead and gone, all their paintings still here, in here. Warringarri Aboriginal Arts has a clear vision to maintain and share the art and culture of the Mirrawong people with the younger generations in order for them to carry on their traditions. I love to do the painting show when I'm gone. You can learn and me and explain. You can explain that it's the younger generation in this country. You know? What connection, what it is. Just like a book. European put it in a book, so it's in a book. When you pick it up to read it, the story is there. Well, that's the same with Blackwell. When they used to do the painting of country, that's a story there to it. It's a little story, but it's not like a book. It's got songs connected to 